Hello, and welcome again to my Bible registration.com. I'm Minister Love joined again with Sister Sandy, and we pray that you've been enjoying these great videos because we're learning that I am that I am. And today, this lesson is going to be another great one because this one is I am born of God. Sister Sandy, real quickly, what did you think about that title? Uh, this lesson we're going to talk about today when it says, I am born of God. Is that possible? Yeah, I, it is possible because uh, that's the whole process of, of why we're here. We, mm -hmm. we, we need to um, get um, repent and, and, and be saved. And then we now then would be under a servant of God. And then we would start to, uh, mm -hmm. to do the things that we were put here to do because he's going to direct uh -huh. us and guide us through the Holy spirit. So yeah, it's definitely. And, yeah. and then if you don't, you would never have the opportunity to be born again of God. So you would right. still be yourself and what you're trying to do in this world mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. yeah. So different, yeah. different. Yeah, you know, I, I, I love that phrase whenever I see born of God, because I'm thinking like, I, I picture God uh, uh, in a female uh, uh, form in a labor room giving birth okay. giving birth to us okay uh and it's a spiritual birth correct see the first when i was born it was physical it was in the natural but when i heard the gospel of jesus christ and accepted what he did on that cross and he, re he redeemed me from my sinful nature and i believed in his father and started reading this bible guess what i began to be born of God now because my thoughts and ways are of him because I was born out of his spiritual nature the first was with physical nature right. out of my mom and dad but this one is spiritual and being born of God can you imagine to know that God is your heavenly father that's why Jesus always said my father my father because right. that he was born of his father right. he said uh, 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 the Bible says what well, he was his only what begotten Son. Son. Mm -hmm. So when we accepted Jesus, we have now, we no longer the old nature. We're no longer thinking the old way. We've been born again with a new way of thinking, a new way of living for God. Right. That's when we can say we've been born again. Of God. But let's take a look at the scripture, though. Let's see what the scriptures has to say to back us up. Sandy, let's go to 1 John right. chapter 5. And we're going to have you to read verse 18. And you can make some comments uh, quickly if you can. Sure. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself and that wicked one touches him not. So mm -hmm. the, we just were talking about what you were saying. This is what mm -hmm. the, uh, um, talking about that, that we're born of God. We, we're no longer sinners. He forgave us of our sins. Mm -hmm. And now we are in God's um, path where he's now going to nurture us and guide us. And, and then we're no longer under the evil one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Satan. Ah, yeah. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because see, once you've been born of God, you're no longer uh, uh, working for Satan. Right. And because you've now been born of God now, your whole mindset ought to be different. Your whole lifestyle ought to be different. Your whole uh, 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 precepts and, and ideas ought to be geared towards serving God. Right. Because we've been, that's what Jesus did. Right. When he came down on earth, everything had to do with his father. Everything he prayed about, everything he did, he gave credit to the father. Right. Why? Because he was a, his father's only begotten Son. But here it tells us when we've been born again and we don't sin like Jesus don't, guess what? We're now begotten of God too. Right. What? That's right. So when you've been born of God, guess what? It said that the wicked one can't even touch you. Right. You, you, you know, just real quickly, you know, I've been doing this for many, many years and people still are baffled. I've never seen you in a bad spirit. I've never seen you angry. I've never seen you just out of out of your uh your normalcy. 
And the reason is because I've been born again. I stay in this word, so I will have the attributes of my father. Right. That's See? Right. Yeah. That is so true. Hey, listen, we got to get to these other scriptures. Yeah. Let's go to Genesis 17. Let's go to Genesis 17. Okay. 17, I'm going to read 17. 17, 17. You know, number 17 means victory. All right. All right. Here it is. And uh, here we are in the first book of the Bible. What did, what did it say? Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is 90 years old bear? <laughs> this is interesting. Because at this point, Abraham is in the natural. He's thinking in the natural. He going to look here. I'm 100. She said, if I am going to have a kid. <laughs> but she did get pregnant. Mm -hmm. But when she got pregnant, that Isaac, this was a product of being born of God. You can say Isaac was God's child because Sarah never would have got pregnant if God had not put that seed in her. If right. he had not made Abraham the ability to get her pregnant with Isaac. Right. Isaac, you could say, is a child of God. Wow. Amazing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So to be born, uh, uh, to be born, uh, this is all spiritual. Right. It's a spiritual thing. Even with Jesus, when uh, to get into Mary, that was spiritual. There was no human contact. Right. It was all spiritual. Right. Amazing. And with Abraham and Sarah, it, it it was physical, but it was spiritual first because God had to put the seed in Abraham for him to put it in Sarah. Correct. It was all spiritual. Right. Give her the ability to hold the child. Exactly. Bear the child at that age, 90. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And you can imagine Sarah and Abraham also was born again spiritually. Correct. Because at first they doubted. She right. laughed. They laughed. And he didn't believe it. So in order, when it happened, they had to what they had to re rethink. They had to change the way they were thinking. They had to change the way they were believing. They had to be what born again. Right, it changed his whole perception, and then he went exactly. on to great things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. All right, one more. Let's go to First John. Audience, stay with us. We're at First John now, chapter three, verse nine. Okay. And so, Sister Sandy, could you read that for us? Okay. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. So if you are born of God, you're in the image of God, and then there's no longer any sin, because you have the seed of God planted in you, that makes and helps you change to be the uh, person you need to be, that God mm -hmm. put you here to be. That's wow. Isn't that something? Yep. So there it is, isn't it? Right. It's kind of like what we just talked about with Abraham and Sarah. God had to put that seed in, in, in Abraham for him to put it in Sarah. Correct. And, and here it is. And, and he. So once you get the seed, once you get that seed in you, you cannot sin because you've been born of God. What is the seed? The word. Mm -hmm. Luke 8, 11 says the, word, the seed is the word of God. So when we get this, every time we read scripture and it comes in, it, it gets in us, we're born again. You right. know, we're giving birth to something. We've been born again. Right. right. Rejuvenate <gasps> the seed. Keep the yes. seed, keep the seed yes. nourished. Right. So that it can grow right. because the word in, it, for the seed is as the ability to grow and sustain. That's right. Right. Exactly. It's just like with our babies in the natural. You know, when that baby is born, we nourish it. We give it milk. We give it food. But whatever it needs to help that baby what? Grow. Grow. Well, it's no different with you and I uh, uh, with the word of God. Right. When we eat this word and take that seed, we're going to grow. Okay. All right, then. Hey, listen, that's going to conclude this lesson today. Lesson number three. Y'all want to come back with us next week on lesson number four as we continue this series talking about I am that I am. And right. we're finding in the scriptures, whatever God is, we can duplicate. We are in his image. All right, then. God bless you. God bless. Join us next week on another great lesson. I'm Minister Love with Sister Sandy. Take care.